Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals. In the last session we made it to the third and final point on the map up in the top left and we put down the final transmitter and we destroyed the uh, the portal in the sky. So that's great uh, and that means that we are done and can go home now, right? Question mark? Probably not. Probably not. The screen just went a bit fuzzy. There's still some weird stuff going on. Did he go in the store? I can't remember if he went in the store or if he... Did he head over right? Maybe he headed over right. He headed over right. Jacob! Hey, what are you doing, man? Yeah, that's Did not you good. get a little, uh, deja vu just now? Uh, wait, was there a... Oranges and lemons. Say the bells of St. Clements. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. And here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Wait, Alex, what are you doing? Oh, that late, I... <laughs> Is this... what's... The night's frequencies have bled enough that I can be for spurts at a time. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Canaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. I told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the Sunken are taking advantage of. The Sunken? Those people that first got trapped between time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, Riley. To come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks, and no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. What do you mean a clean swap? All right, well, you're helping us. I don't know how or, you know, but you need to help. Of course, Riley. I can't let Olivia do this. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Wait. Okay, so we're going back to the original map? Was Alex here? She, 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 was, she was here, and then she said the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... Yeah, and apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. We need to find a boat and get to Edwards Island. Where's the docks? Uh, well, there's the lighthouse. We know we end up at the lighthouse, because that's where the game began. Oh, the docks are just down here. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close. So close. Oh, soon. Very, very soon. Yeah, because the game opened up with Something us at the lighthouse, right? So, boat? Is that right? It's. A, I'm still a little foggy. So, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? Nope. I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're going to go about it. Yep. Yep. Say no more. I know what we have to do. There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. This is the boat Not that the we got to the island on in the first game, isn't it? Though, maybe I am a little. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened today. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Okay. That's a point okay, of no return so... kind of thing. Here's not exactly chock-a-block, but one of these should do. Yep. This looks... I don't know. Too big. <laughs> it would get us there fast, but the controls look pretty... 
advanced. Do you know how to drive it? Uh, nope. I'd be worried about crashing into high water rocks. Let's find something simpler. I. This looks fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a bait shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had t-ball level game, but still, that's a proper <laughs> flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. <laughs> it's padlock to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. Oh, boy, what's that? I got all that? the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and wheelworms, so... Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Not that shop. This shop. This shop. This shop. This shop. Ha! Knew it. No one secures their damn doors on this At least you remember to lock this. I'm Ava to buy a padlock. I'll stay out here. 7-Eleven is highlighted. If trouble, I'll uh, huh. whistle okay. or something. MB? Ah, oh, sale on Nightcrawlers. And me without my checkbook. 315 is pretty good, right? Well, I have no idea what I'm Key. saying. Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? <laughs> eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. Ah, happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Wait, MB. Marco's birthday? Do you know what Marco's birthday is? Oh no, that was the 7-Eleven. That's probably the code then. Did, did you hear that? Whose dog was that? Athena? Athena! Oh, it's your dog. Nice. Oh, Athena! Did you freaking knucklehead? Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I was so worried. Oh, thank god. I kept thinking. Oh, I don't want to say what I was thinking. She seems alright. Is it okay if I pet her? Oh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. <laughs> that means yes. You can yeah, pet the dog in Oxen Free too. Is obliterated. Oh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting Although it's bell. actually not like Very me, so. Large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No speak. more running off. Athena, speak. Oh, she is the chattiest of Kathy's, believe me. Oh, man, this is. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, not usually Yay! Like this, you know, I can but, pet the dog. Uh, it's been a long night. She's my home, you know? She's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. Where are you going? Um... I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Uh, Sound good? Speak. I was gonna say, Sound is she good. coming on the boat with us? But yeah, I no. have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll uh, you'll be okay. Okay. Yo, okay. Maria. I'm ready. You here? Uh. Well, it won't let me call her, so I guess she's not here. Hello. Very cute. You think you know the code? Seven, one. One. Ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. I'm after a fucking you. genius, Ladies yo. first. Age beef. Ooh. Um. Mm. Yeah, after you. Uh, hey, come on. Get on. Oh, no, no, no. After you. Ooh la la. Breaking societal protocol. I dig it.
And away we go. For a moment, I thought we were going to drive straight into that boy. Or buoy, as Americans call it. I used to uh, pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, it was my only goal to get it. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm going to do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, you're probably right. But like, this is pretty impressive stuff. Sure, it's impressive, but it gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. You know what's crazy? One day you're gonna have and the best day of your life, fixing it, and you won't know often not. that it's the best day of your life. There's honor in fixing things for people. You could say that's a noble profession. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's complicated. It's just, this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. I mean, I feel like that's making oh. it. This would have been nice if the number one We're spot was it a bit. by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we don't like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. If we remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he'd fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> yeah, how stupid does that sound, right? Nah. I believe in you. In an authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Poverly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. I'm sure you have other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first. Why? For luck. Sure. For luck. I'm curious if this is going to be, like, just the exact same map as the first game, or if it's going to be changed somehow. Guess who's back? Back again. I'm also curious how long this section is going to be, whether it's, like, that was the first half of the game, and now this is an equal second half, or whether, because that they said like you're not coming back here. So usually that happens like at the end of a game, but it oh, might also. I don't see Olivia's boat. Not to be. <laughs> I don't know. Who Actually, knows? Yeah. Why am I surprised by that? I probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Maybe we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. 5 a.m. Edwards Island. It's been a while. Did you come here often? When you were younger, I mean. Oh, sure. During the summer, all the time. It wasn't really a family tradition, but something my brother and I would do when we got bored. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. Me too. <laughs> Richard Harden Tower? Dick Harden? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. I remember. This is... What's the significance of this again? It's the propeller from the USS Kanaloa. The only part of it recovered. That I just can't believe that those people, the, the, the Canaloa's crew, are the ones now trying to come back through Olivia. Yeah, we can ponder all of this when we're done. Let's move, seriously. Yeah, this place, even like 10 years ago. Oh, I missed this a fucking like thing it, to click down there. You know? God damn it. Oh, well. Yeah, you come here on the Wait, weekends, I missed a couple of things? Run around, get lost in the woods, sneak I off. I think I knew someone's older brother who used to work here years ago, you know, back in high school. Yeah. It was like a rite of passage, I think somebody told me once. Everyone has to work at Edwards Island when they're 15, or else your childhood doesn't count. But anyways, 
I was just saying this place was a the party spot when I was in school. Not that I did too much of that stuff. Hey, I wish we could do that now. You bring the beer and pipe, I'll bring the hilarious anecdotes. I can run back. <laughs> oh. oh. Man, that's weird. Where's Olivia? Do you see her? Uh. Fire! Man's great equalizer. Hey, this is the first game. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Man, this was a good ass opening scene. Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. I don't know if they can like see us, but Fire! Man's great equalizer. Hey wait, Alex! We're we're still just like getting our feet wet, so what don't we uh what's the like thing? Don't worry. I don't know you're here. Yeah. There echoes stuck between time. My friends and me. Olivia's opening the portal already. Or will or has. The, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Just wait a second. I don't understand. What happened to you? We just got stuck. Like the crewmen of the Canaloa. Like Maggie was, in her own way. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? Aww. It would have fixed a lot of things. Alex, your friends here, they wouldn't want that. For you or for them. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong, and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking. In all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, you never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh. Wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. Oh. I know, this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late. Okay. You're probably not gonna succeed, but let's see. Watch it! Uh We're running out of time, kids. Yeah, this oh, isn't man. good. Christ, I think. Is oh, lightning man. striking the top of it? If I fall to my death, please adopt her. Oh Olivia's wow. On the roof. Come on. We have to hurry. Yeah, I'm hurrying. But uh I think she's done it. Oh my god. No, 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 it shouldn't be this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Stay there. Don't come near me. It's already done. You're too late. Olivia, come on, honey, just just back away. We can't Olivia! climb up to her. I, I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit. You said you said you could Oh god, are we too late? Yup. Alex. You're still here. Wait! Please! You don't have to do it this way! How is this anything different than what you and all of your infantile yearning try? I know! I, I want it out! I still do! But this! This won't It will do exactly. Don't do this! We, we we can help you. Maybe we can. Maybe you can what? Stall until we forget. Until our minds have totally succumbed to the pride. Stop! You you want this? Henry Griffin, Kelvin Gilbert, men, women of the Canaloa. I know you're you have children of your. You're not our old salt, and never will be again. Now we are living up. Now we are Riley. Oh shit. Riley! Oh, Where? Well, that's not good. <laughs> we got taken over. What now? Waiting for the bus. Wait. I was just at the calm tower. Did I 
lose? Kind of feels like it. But also timey wimey, so even if we did lose, we can probably go back and undo that. Yep. How do we... How do I get out of here? I don't even know if this is a, a place or... The forest is the town with the trees. Come on. It's not over yet. While I was hearing someone shout towards me, uh, they seem to have stopped. Sleepy time, gal. Is this the home you're trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? Like a hum to it? The radio's buzzing a bit. Hey, I already I already figured that out, game. Whoa. I'm at the comm tower again? Yeah, a different time. Is this when it was new? Up. No damage we could see. I'm on my lunch break. Okay. Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm Are you Maggie? I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is... Am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Uh... Just like me. If you're not Maggie, who are you then? A figment. A comic strip thought balloon. A particle of someone you think you know. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here. And you'll always be in your little apartment, wishing things were different. If a yeah, caterpillar you're wrong. is a You're butterfly. wrong! I... I know I can get back. I can fight them! Fight this! I can fight it! Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunken are as time itself. Stop fighting your grace for souls who lose your soul. Oh my god. That's kind of terrifying. I don't like that one bit. Go! Oh, stop pushing me! Just stop! Don't it's, push it's me because not... I am close to it's okay. the it's okay. edge. I'm not gone yet. Not completely. Just oh, keep moving. A while. And uh, I don't even know if I want to do that. Yeah, Dad, I know you, you were excited when I enlisted, but it just didn't work out, okay? Please don't be. You don't have to sound so disappointed. I wasn't going to ever be gone. I wasn't going to go up there. Yeah, that's enough of that. Is this the person she's having a kid with? You are the no, father. Of that. What am I supposed to do? So Give me a break! I, I don't 
Is she? Is that her getting kicked out of the military or something? Just because it she said she disappointed her dad. And we know he was proud of her going into the military, so maybe that was her getting kicked out of it. I now enough with the mind games already oh is this wait is this back on the other island is the little hut to the left of this yeah this is on the beach on the other island huh hello Is this my son grown up? <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. You show up, fish clear out. Uh-oh. Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What's... what is this? What's what? Which part? They have not had a good relationship. Right? I know it's you, Rex. Yeah, I know. You're a long way from home, Riley. You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order. You know, exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? Ah, uh, I think you can tell how it's going, Rex. I'm getting taken over by vengeful spirits just because I answered an ad for a job. It's going to complete crap. Like most things I try to do. Like most things you try to do. Yeah. Here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. <sighs> I wasn't talking about you. So. That'd be awkward if she was. <laughs> I know you think you effed up here, and that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but you haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now, for my sake. How? You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you stapled to the carpet. You used to make me say I was sorry, even when I wasn't. Remember that? Well, it's time for you to do something you're not quite ready for, too. Look, the Sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void, just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing? Wanting to shrivel into dirt, crumble? You have crumble? no idea how hard I've tried to change for you. The instant the little stick thing turned blue, the instant I knew you were on your way, the second I knew I had to live up to, to, to you, to be something for you. Yeah, Mom. You looked in the want ads and sublet your apartment. I know. You tell me often. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. There isn't any more time to kill. You're not that young anymore, and today is today. It ain't tomorrow. Some of this is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. But you'll always have a saying for everything. Okay, now, I, I tried to be a good mom in those those moments with you. I, I tried, but I was pretty much thrown into it. Everyone's pretty much thrown into it, but you're missing the point. <sighs> I'm fishing, see? Fishing, that's because of you. 
I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. All the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. But you just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never knew. You never did. So, I'm here now to make you take your own advice. Do something. Be something. Just make a choice and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. This is a really good scene, man. How, Rex? How exactly am I supposed to do that here? It's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. Wait, so I just say this and no, I- No, Riley, you have to say it and mean it. Rex, seriously, I can do this, okay? I just, I don't need don't to- be overconfident. I'll never leave unless you break out of this. Now say it for yourself. It's not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want... I, I want to just... To see you in real life. Even if it's not going to be what I hope it can be. Uh, yes. Yes, you do. But I think this is my stop. Oh. And look, Mom. Don't be so realistic. Dream a little, okay? It's good for you. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. I pop out a little early. Wait, wait! Riley! Riley, can you hear me? I can hear you. I'm back, bitch! Riley! Jacob! I, I, I'm back! I, I can't believe it! It worked! Doing a countdown? They're doing a countdown. Are we at the bottom of the ocean? Uh, Alex, is this a good thing? Is this good? Did we did we right do now? a good? Did we do a I yay? Think, yes, I think this is it. What is it? You know something? Uh, Alex, you know something I don't. <gasps> oh, hey, Olivia. Olivia, Jesus, having a bad night. <sighs> Olivia. Those things you were talking to, they're not gods. They're just ghosts. People like you and me. They were controlling you. I know! I know! I know. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me! You quit! 
we could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan. The Cantaloa crewmen would have... I know! I know. I thought they would help me. I know what you wanted, Olivia. I understand. But you just can't cheat death like this. I'm sorry. Whatever. We're not done yet. We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want, but someone still has to lock it from the other side. Well, I did it myself many years ago. It's how I got stuck. How my friends and I got stuck. So, are you like free now or something? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close and consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal must remain in the portal. Wait, there's absolutely no other way? Someone has to be on the other side to do it? Uh-oh. We're we running out of time? On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces. Because of how the sunken and me and my friends entered, we didn't have the choice. We became stuck in the moment of our accident. But it can be a gift. Olivia, you can be with your parents again. Forever. But it's not real. It was real. And that could be enough. But it would just be an illusion. No, no illusion. Just a moment that will never change or advance. That but is what she wanted, one, right? Unless. Olivia? And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you while well, waiting and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? Like me and my dad. Yeah, like you and your dad. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built that antenna. I built that antenna. I studied the websites. I called the experts. I, I stole countless books from the library. I, I communed with you when no one else could. I... I'm the goddamn hero of this goddamn story, and I am going into that portal! And I don't care if you don't understand. It's what I need to do. Olivia, nothing can bring your parents back. Not this thing, not anything. I'm sorry. I know you're sorry, I know you are, but... My parents. You have no idea what they meant to me. Not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. No, you didn't talk yourself into What do you mean her this? future's cloudy? What do you mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Riley, you have a kid on the way. You really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? Yeah, not particularly. What's this? Quiet. Let her think. Hmm. So if I go in. I Mother, don't get to have my just kid. Give me the radio, okay? She wants just to go give in. Me the radio and walk away. Jacob Done. hasn't said a fucking oh, yeah. thing. Maybe Jacob's the right choice. He wants to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He wants I, to do I know something. I did this. I caused all of this, but it's. This isn't what you think. I'm not too young. I'm not too impulsive. I've lived enough of I my life. I wonder if Jacob might be the choice because he wants to do what something want, more than just. What I need. Do a fix it, this, right? This would be like something more. Him. But he hasn't said anything. I don't want to just like choose him when he's not even 
We loved each other more than all the stars. And He's the not even made a case for himself, you know? More than the moon herself. And is it bad to choose a kid? Does she really know all. whether this is what she wants? Is she too I young to know? Home. Olivia, just... Just think about it, please. I don't know, it's a tough choice. I would. I wish that he was giving his input. Because, like, this might be a thing that he would want to do, but he's saying nothing, so... I don't know, man. I've got a kid on the way. You want to do it? I don't know if... I don't know if it's like morally wrong to choose the kid because yeah like I said the kid I, I'm not sure exactly how old she is but maybe too young to really know if this is the right choice for her but I'm gonna do it I wonder how these endings go assuming this is the end I wonder how different things can like what turns this can take depending on who you choose Oh, I don't know. It is a tough one, but yeah, I think we're going Olivia. You're really letting me go? I guess she is. Why? Maybe she saw in you what I saw in you. You earned it, Olivia. You did. It should be your choice. Olivia. Tune the portal closed. What? Going to see my mom and dad again? I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. I did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. <laughs> Just be <laughs> we're a good mom. Not hugging. To your son. I will, Olivia. I'll do my best. Okay, back where we started. Riley, are you there? Evelyn? Is this a, a loop again? What day is it? What day is it? Oh, uh, I don't know the date. And actually, my phone can't sync anymore since I dropped it in oatmeal. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem... Ah, Perfect. It's not a loop. Negligible scratch. We did it. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the uh our environmental research staff is gonna be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The bird calls are perfect. Not a lot of interference. Evelyn, what the hell are you talking about? Do you do you remember the storm? It did rain periodically last night, but I, I don't think it'll hurt the equipment. But yeah, the transmitters. Leslie went over this with you, but the transmitters are for the area's yellow-billed cuckoos population. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list. But, uh, Evelyn, I was hired to plant transmitters to study a strange interference with the area's electronic equipment. Remember? Uh, no. Riley, you were hired to help us study yellow-billed cuckoos? And you did. So, that's... Maybe you're just overtired. I don't think you made it to the hotel last night. Did something happen? Uh, you could say that. Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, before you get into it. Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. And it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Over. Want to think about it? You want to think about it. Okay, I'll let Leslie I was know. gonna click something and then I saw fucking Thanks Clarissa walk Riley. on screen and I was like, I whoa. Check at the campus admissions office. Gotta go. I, uh, I gotta go, Evelyn. Where are you uh, going? Okay, sorry for Give keeping you. Second. Call if you need anything. Over and out. Hey, Alex. The first thing I heard this morning was my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little. I guess. 
Do you hate me? No. No, I... I don't hate you. You can. I'm not your kid. But... Thank you. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. All the people of Kamina? None of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here, thinking about Olivia. Hmm, I hope she's happy. She got what she thought she wanted. I just hope she's happy with it. She seemed happy. I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, just give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm a... <laughs> If they don't remember, then why is Clarissa being nice? Because <laughs> Clarissa was fucking horrible. She said she um, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. Watch out for any... Well, for anything, really, okay? It was a lot of work to get you here. I'll be good. All right. I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Ugh, I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. Okay. What do we do now? Are we ever going to end up at that lighthouse? <laughs> I'm just thinking, like, we started the game at the lighthouse, but, like, that never happened in the game. <laughs> hey! Hey, Athena! How are you, girl? <laughs> hey, where are you going? I think she likes you. She's not usually this friendly. Oh, my God! Jacob, I... I... Uh, hi! Hey. Oh, I'm still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday, right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, phew, yeah. <laughs> Didn't know I'd ever see you again. <laughs> but... Sorry to disappoint. Hey, I'm sorry to disappoint. I can pretend I don't know you. No, no, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was just... Two minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Uh, this is Athena's time to do her uh, business. We, we call it business time. All right, go I, do your uh, business then. I need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. I wouldn't have even said anything, but I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She just needed it. For her, this was never going to end. No need to apologize, Jacob. Wonder what you would have said if we I had chosen understand. it. Nobody, not even Olivia, wants that. And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but, um, thanks. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. And why that's a good thing. Yeah. Pretty soon, anyway. It's true. He is going to have another branch in the family tree. Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions. We have regrets. And... We, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? <laughs> In some ways, I guess. Nope, not really. The other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about something i don't know but we were watching tv her old black and white in her living room it was just white noise and she said something to me about waves about the ocean 
thought was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it. Be comforted. Or... Or... The end? Are we loading credits or are we loading another scene? <clears throat> Hi, sorry. Hi. If you're listening to this, my name is Alex, but that doesn't matter much. You don't know me. You've never heard of me. You never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently. Is this for Riley's kid? The only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's um, a, a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture of just who Riley is and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay. Oh, and um, thank you. Yoink. Read last. <laughs> Oddities of Kamina. You and 34% of players helped Maria. Huh. more stats for me? You and 41% of players became friends with Violet and Charlie, uh, yeah. but had Olivia oh, enter the portal. Yeah, me too. What, uh, what do you think about? Oh, just everything, I guess. Was it a good thing that Riley let her go? If she's happy where she is? If she's even anywhere? Riley says she's probably happy. She saw memories of Olivia when everything was going on. She says she picked her for a reason, that she deserved to go. I'm just glad Riley was there, so she wasn't alone. <sighs> yeah, me too. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I was surprised only 41. I would have thought that would have been a more popular choice. Does it say... New friend, new journey, 11%. A friend found, a friend lost, 16%. Uh, lonely light of planet shine, 4%. All the Lonely People, 2%. New Beginnings, 13%. Bloom and Grow, 3%. Better Things Ahead, 5%. So I am in the majority, like, this is the ending that most people got. There's a ton of other different permutations, though. It's not just, it's clearly not just, like, one of three. Interesting. Can you talk a little bit more about your gallery, the Sasquatch? Sure. It used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. A friend of mine, Riley, really pushed me to do it. Her son, Rex, is a smart critic. <laughs> Brutal, but smart. I've started to become known around town as more than just the local weirdo. <laughs> which, Hooray! Which, which is a plus. I'd lived my life a certain way up until this point. Pretty closed off, anxious, and I don't know, life's just too short, right? You and 59% of players befriended Jacob and brought him to the island, so you didn't even have to bring him at the end? I did wonder, because there was the option to tell him to stay, but yeah, that's again the majority. There's also the bitter end, 3%. I mean, bitter end, that sounds like you fucking make him hate you and tell him to fuck off or something before you go to the island? A perfect day, uh, his own good, 
I guess that's being friends and telling him to stay. A purpose, 1%. Uh, bygones, 2%. Man, I'm gonna have to look up what some of these other options are. <laughs> Something that 1% of players have got. <laughs> Dad? We can go to the park later. <laughs> You and 74% of players had Olivia enter the portal. Well, that is by far the majority. Hopeless case, 23%. A tremendous thing, 2%. I don't know, is hopeless case Jacob? I wouldn't have thought me or him would be thought of as a hopeless case. A tremendous thing, maybe that'd be Jacob? That's the tremendous thing he wants to do? And hopeless case is us thinking we're a hopeless case, so we're not even going to bother raising our kid, we're just going to go through this fucking portal? I don't know, that's kind of sad, man. I'm glad I didn't pick that one. Well, read last. So, that's all of it then. Rex, your mom is a complicated person, like all of us, like everybody. I used to really not appreciate my stepfather. And there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother. Relationships are hard, even the ones that are supposed to be easy, supposed to be ingrained. I don't really know what I expected to do with all this. But just know that your mom isn't just your mom. She's not just the person who you maybe think failed you. She's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about you, Rex. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. All right, I think that's it. Oh, and the... stay off the radio. There we go. The end for realties? Credits? Yeah, there we go. That was good. Elizabeth Sader and Joe Bianco. I don't think I know those two names, but... Oh yeah, I always forget they got bought by Netflix. <laughs> I don't think I know those two names, but they did a really good job. They obviously carried the vast majority of dialogue in this game. Just those two, and they did a very... Very good job with it. How long are these credits going to be, do we reckon? Anyone else I recognise in the cast list? What what happened to Violet and Charlie? After the scene in the house with it like twisting around and stuff? I feel like, did we ever see or hear of them again? I'm actually not sure. I don't think I recognise any of those names. But there we go. It was uh, it was a little shorter than I expected, for sure. I was uh, I was thinking it was going to be a, a bit longer than the first game, and it feels like the same length, or maybe even a little bit less. Maybe I'm not sure. I'd have to I'd have to go back and look at my playthrough. Uh, it's probably about the same length, but I did I did think it was going to be a bit more. Uh, but they did well with the time that they did give us. It was uh, a good story. I liked the way it connected. With the original, I like that we had some more like Alex and everything. And uh, yeah, overall, was it as good as the original? I think, I think because of the like, the fact that we didn't know what was going on in the original, there was the novelty, the mystery, the intrigue there that this one didn't have because obviously we already know what's going on because we played the first game. Obviously, if if you didn't play the first game, then this one would have more mystery, but also I think you'd be missing out on quite a lot by, like, you wouldn't know Alex, you wouldn't know, the, like, these people and anything, so, yeah, I think, I think the first one's better, but I think, as a sequel, this one does a good job of, like, not, it, it doesn't just, you know, throw out the rule book and try and do something different, it, it does do a good job of, like, weaving in the original, and, uh, continuing that story so yeah i think it's a good sequel but i think the original probably a little bit better overall for me but uh let me know what you thought did you think the sequel surpassed the original 
or do you still prefer the first one overall? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of games as they release, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any support over there. And yeah, with that, I will see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.